We are about to leap into the age of quantum computing and possibly our technological capabilities will evolve rapidly as a result. Does this mean we are on the threshold of developing a type 2 civilization? If so, we should soon be able to make first contact with other intelligent life forms and slowly conquer space. Despite this leap, however, we would never manage to make contact with a type 7 civilization. Why this is so, and what this type 7 civilization is all about, you will now find out. The Kardashev Scale In 1964, Soviet scientist Nikolai Kardashev proposed a groundbreaking theory that all hypothetical intelligent civilizations in space evolve along an axis based on energy consumption and how energy is obtained. As a society grows and becomes more technologically advanced, its energy needs increase, and at the same time, the species' energy harvesting capabilities evolve out of the need. To measure the level of energy consumption, Kardashev developed three stages of civilization. Later, other scientists have since added four more stages. Each type of civilization is distinguished not only by its energy consumption, but also by social characteristics and by the form in which these living beings appear in space. Interestingly, scientists who are familiar with the scale and types of civilizations say that we as humans would never succeed in contacting a Type 7 civilization, and there is an almost unbelievable and fantastic reason behind this. Before we approach the specifics of these hyper-civilizations, let's take a closer look at the seven types. Type Zero Civilization A Type Zero Civilization is an intelligent race capable of technological advancement. This species covers its energy consumption of at least 10 to the power of 16 watts through the resources of its planet. However, civilizations at the lower end of the scale use energy generation methods that are detrimental to the planet. We have the case through nuclear power, as well as coal-fired power plants and internal combustion engines that rely on fossil fuels. Since we are already on the leap into the eco-age and have discovered renewable energy for ourselves, we are at about 0.73 on the Kardashev scale. American theoretical physicist and futurist Michio Kaku estimated that it will take humans another 100 to 300 years to fully meet the scales of type 1 civilization and move toward a type 2 civilization. The discovery of quantum computing, as well as resources recently discovered on the moon for clean nuclear fusion energy generation, could take us a significant step forward. However, we still face severe problems at our social and societal level of development. People have not yet united peacefully, and we have major social and political problems. For example, quantum computers could initially plunge us into a crisis, and a dispute could break out over the resources on the moon. If we want to complete the threshold of Type 1 civilization, planetary peace and consensus among nations and races are as much a part of it as advances in energy generation technologies. Type 1 Civilization Type 1 Civilization is also called Planetary Civilization. When we reach this level of development, we will have learned to generate energy from and with our planet without destroying it. This means that we humans will fully utilize all solar radiation reaching our planet, draw power from the elements, and probably no power sources identical to Nikola Tesla's research of free energy in the stratosphere and the Earth's soil. The total amount of energy that all humans will then use in a year is about 410 trillion joules. As a Type 1 civilization, we will be further along in terms of power conservation and entirely new technologies, but at the same time, we will have significantly expanded space travel and will need large amounts of energy here. Life on Earth should already be peaceful and comfortable in these eras. Nuclear reactors, chemical power plants, and exhaust fumes will have completely disappeared. Perhaps mankind will have succeeded in stopping climate change, favorably influencing the planet's weather, or we will simply live with the new conditions. As advanced Type 1 civilizations, we live in futuristic cities that are half underground or sheltered under huge domes and roofs due to weather extremes. We have built cities on water and can power and inhabit entire underwater cities. Type 2 Civilization A Type 2 Civilization is also called a Stellar Civilization. 
It uses and consumes an amazing 10 to the power of 26 watts of energy. Scientists believe that humanity has a chance to exceed this limit in about 3,200 years. When we reach that point, we will get our energy directly from the sun. To this end, we have built a Dyson sphere around the sun that is millions of times larger than Earth's and capable of capturing all of the star's energy. By dimming the sun, we have also managed to tackle the growing problem of increased solar radiation on the planet. Networks of satellites are also conceivable, acting as a Dyson swarm to capture energies around the sun and transport them wirelessly to Earth. Thanks to advances in medical technology and space travel, astronauts and space travelers are now already moving safely to the nearest star systems. Since we have discovered that the Alpha Centauri system is uninhabited, we as a Type II civilization plan to harness the power of the three stars of this system for ourselves soon and build more Dyson spheres there. Type III Civilization In 5,800 years, we will finally be a Type III galactic civilization. We can harness energy from stars throughout the galaxy and have begun to harness types of energy derived from negative matter and from accretion disks of black holes. With an astounding 10 to the power of 36 watts of energy at our disposal, we travel effortlessly through the Milky Way and can reach more remote places in the universe thanks to wormholes. Robots and cyborgs have taken over the work. Humans are active as scientists, space travelers, executives, and otherwise pursue culture and social amenities. As a result, life expectancy has increased significantly and disease is rare. As a Type III civilization, we are also very likely to have contact with other peoples in the universe, if they exist. This all sounds fantastic to you already. Then wait and see, because it gets even better. Over the decades, scientists have proposed four more stages based on new findings that will amaze you. Type IV Civilization A Type IV civilization would gain its unimaginable energy potential of 10 to the power of 46 watts by harnessing the forces of extreme events like supernovae explosions. Other unimaginably large energy potentials from cosmic structures would provide these civilizations with almost unlimited energy reserves. At the same time, such a race has evolved into scientifically far superior entities. Thanks to the decoding of the universe, these beings have the power to manipulate entire galaxies, create and destroy stars, or grow planets. There are hypotheses that such a civilization has achieved immortality by transferring its consciousness into digital realms. Type 5 Civilization The home of the fifth level is no longer just our known universe, but an infinite multiverse. Such a civilization would have long left behind the limits of energy and physics as we know them. These beings derive their power from the use of white holes, which are considered to be the opposite of black holes. These beings have solved the journey between dimensions and worlds as well as their energy problem by becoming pure energy themselves. Type 5 entities can probably still appear in a material form, but they are no longer dependent on a body and can change it if necessary. Type 6 Civilization According to scientific theories, a Type 6 civilization would not only travel through many dimensions, but would be multidimensional. Presumably, these entities act only in the form of pure consciousness, or they consciously choose their form of appearance and the worlds in which they want to act. Now, we could think that we could go no further than this, but there is still another stage, which is the peak of the hypothetical civilizational development. Type 7 Civilization A Type 7 civilization would be one with the creator of all natural laws, matter, energy, space, time, and dimensions. We cannot imagine what life would be like in a Type 7 civilization or whether we would even call such a race a civilization anymore. Theoretically, it would take 10 duodecillion years for humanity to become a civilization of this type. Now we come to the question why we humans cannot meet a civilization of this type. For one thing, our space-time does not permit the existence of such a race. Our universe is probably only 13.8 billion years old. However, it cannot be excluded that such entities are at home in other universes or in dimensions which have not developed along our time axis. 
Type 7 entities, moreover, would be imperceptible to us in form and appearance, having become pure existence. By the way, it's quite possible that the cosmos in which we live was created by just such a civilization, and we owe our existence to the work of such a species. In a certain way, we would be then the descendants of this civilization, and like a baby, we would stand at the beginning of our own development to a civilization of the Type 7. At the latest from Stage 4, we would no longer be bound to the developments which scientists foresee today. Our universe and the lifespan of our star would not be finite. We could just as well create a new star system or manipulate an existing one in such a way that it serves us as a perfect home. At later stages, we would realize that space is a dream that each and every one of us helps to dream. Accordingly, we can add to any dreams, modify them, or concentrate our power by aligning them as a civilization towards goals. Traces of Other Civilizations Everyone wonders now whether we have ever found indications of the existence of other civilizations. Yes, there have actually been three recent events that point to the existence of such civilizations. A few years ago, the SETI Institute received a signal from the star HD 164595, 92 light years from Earth, and the nature and strength of the signal may have been a Type II civilization's techno signature. In 2008, Astronomers accidentally discovered evidence of a Dyson Sphere. First, an exoplanet called Fummelhut B was discovered. When it suddenly disappeared, scientists, scientists searched for answers and found that Fummelhut B was not an exoplanet at all, but a dimming of its star. This eclipse could be a gigantic disk of dust and debris, such as is created by asteroid collisions. Or it could be a Dyson Sphere that inhabitants of the Fummelhut system have built around their star. For the existence of the enormous voids in the cosmos, the so-called voids, there is an explanation that an advanced civilization of Type III has covered whole galaxies there with Dyson spheres or has moved them to other places. Sound crazy? But it's reality. These hypotheses really exist, but they have not been proven yet. What do you think now about these stages of civilization development and the fact that we ourselves are perhaps the work of a very advanced Type 7 Civilization